Okay guys, so we're here at Denny's. Just got some food to do a mukbang. I have mine open because I don't want my fries to get soggy. But I got a, I got a bacon burger and seasoned fries. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, I got a bacon burger and seasoned fries. And Leo, what did you get? I got eggs, hash brown, French toast. I've been feeding for like breakfast. So she got breakfast, I got a meal, and we're gonna go do a mukbang. And I just wanted you guys to see us because you guys like our vlogs, even though this is like a baby two second vlog. We're about to drive to the house, to our office to record this video. Don't mind my dookie bird, it's all over the place. Welcome back to our channel guys. Welcome back guys. If you're new to our channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video right now and turn your post notifications on so you get notified when we post new videos. So today, so, yeah. Oh, you see. So today guys, we're doing a Denny's mug bag. I do as seen earlier in the video we were at Denny's getting the food. Um, I got seasoned fries and a um, bacon cheeseburger and a Coke. And I got um, French toast. I've been feeding for French toast. Um, scrambled eggs, hash browns, and some sausage. Oh my god, we had a topic. The, what was the most thing we ever done for a guy? Yes. So guys, first I need a couple bites before I start. Yeah. yeah. Can... See what's up. These fries are here. Just so good. good. Uh-uh. Nah. Hold on, guys. There's a fly and there's no house. I can't stand flies. I'll find some peace tonight. Oh, we got it. I'm just looking for the napkins. Yeah, I didn't see that. Come on. I did it. Light on cheese. For real, match. Let's put extra cheese. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's the most. I just felt like. Before we get started, guys, comment down below what. What have you done? Like, what is the most you have done for a guy? Like, out of pocket, that is like, whoa. Yeah, I always used to do the most when I was in there. I used to. One of them, because I have multiple, one of them was skip class. Oh, skip oh, class and hang out. Mm hmm. Not go to class. Oh, also use my, because I used to live in the dorm. Also use my, my, your swipes? My swipes for him. No. And then at the end of the week, I'm hungry. Like, Yo, you know how much times I stayed broke to buy niggas groceries? Oh, D, stayed broke. Literally, and I'll act like I got it like that. And I didn't have it like that. I was straight broke. I was straight hungry for the week. I, I spent, think, by Sunday, my money was all spent. I don't think guys understand, like, mm -hmm. how much, like, I know they put effort to, but I feel like girls put in a lot of effort to and they don't see it. Cause now like we're going out to eat, but all the time, but we still buying my little stuff that adds up. What? I did so much. I remember I had a little boyfriend once. He literally kicked me out of his house. And he told his mom, he told everybody, like, I don't want her here. That's got, crazy. Get the fuck out of my house and guess where I was the next day. The house. Damn. Yep, I was right back there like it never happened because he just apologized and I just forgave him. Yo, I was a big forgiver. 
that's why I feel like I'm so different now because I just used to put up with it all. That's crazy. Got kicked out. Mm hmm. That is disrespectful. His mom. Legit. Put us in a room together. I'm sorry. He told, she told him. His mom was a shit to this day. I still fucks with her. His mom told her, like, if you talk, if you talk to her like that one more time, I'll make sure. No, she said, are you sure you don't want to see her ever again? Because I'm going to make sure you never see her ever again to him. And he goes, yes, get her out of my house. She, straight to my face on some savage shit. He said, yep, get her out of my house. Mind you, he was the one that invited me to his house. That's I hope and invited. Yep. Hit me up the next morning and you know, my bag. I'm sorry. And there I was with no shame. His mom must have been like this dumb little girl. I mean, granted, I was only 15, but still, I should have known better. No self, oh my god, no I would die. What's the biggest stalking thing you've ever done? Stalker wise. I think I went to the nigga's job. And just was chilling outside with my friend. No way. Yep. He had no idea. He was ignoring me. <laughs> For some reason, I have that happen. Like, I, straight, I got straight ignored. And I was, like, around the area. I didn't know exactly where he was at. But I knew around where he was at. And I straight sat it and searched for his car like a stalker. No way. Mm -hmm. No. I was at school. And we was having an argument and I went to his house and whatever. We had an argument, we were talking. Then I decided to go back because I'm so mad. Like, I'm not going to chill with you. And he was acting real shady, real different. So, whatever. I decided, I left. But then I'm like, nah, I'm going to go back. When I go back, the car wasn't there. For sure. I'm like, where is this nigga at? So I stayed right there. Waiting. To the arrival. Caring. I don't be caring. If I gotta do the most like that, it's because you're doing the most. Cause I don't be caring about nothing. Like... I'm just the type of person that I believe the lie, the lie always comes out. Mm -hmm. And shit, the information will always come to you. So I don't really go crazy. So if I had to do all that, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. The main thing though, I would say is the money I've spent. Yo, OD, and I don't think I see that. No. Niggas nowadays be gladly taking it without being ashamed or nothing. Not shy at all. <laughs> now yeah, I mean, they, they equal don't bother them. And like, I mean, of course you guys deserve it too because it's not fair to always swipe because I know when I be swiping that kills my heart. Like, I be like, damn, are you serious? Like $50 right now? Okay. Yeah. That's so deep. You got to make sure to be fair. But like, but like, if this is like, we just starting and you just real like casual about shit, like just straight, hmm. yeah. Especially when I'm starting though, that's when I really be on some. Now nah, I got this. Now nah, you pay for that. I got this. Not nah, having me in your mouth. Like starting off, like if if you're not the person who like who initiated, initiated, like that's a red flag. I'm even sorry. if I even if I pull out my stuff, us girls love to test niggas, and I'm gonna pull out my stuff. But if you allow me to pay, that's a turn off to me. That first time, that's like that's like a first. What is it? First impression thing. If you allowed me to pay, I'm gonna be living. And then the next thing, I'm gonna automatically pay. Like you're gonna have to fight me real bad for me. And that's it. Pay. And then if you get the second day, it's because you're lucky because you have a good personality mm -hmm. or something. But I'm talking about like if you go out to eat first and then go to the movies after. Oh. Like you got the dinner. I'm of course gonna get the movies. We don't need snacks. We just ate. <laughs> Excuse me. Track touch. <laughs> So um, even if the, even if like, we want snacks, then I don't mind getting it because we just pay for dinner, you know. And I don't want no nigga to think I'm taking advantage. 
Then when you get to another comfort zone, you've been with the person a million times, I just don't care. Whoever gets it first, whoever gets it first. <laughs> Facts. You got it already, I bet. I'm like, that's just where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. Like, whoever just got it, got it. If not, then nigga get it. Or, 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 because if you're with a person for a long time, like, you really start thinking about going out, though. Like, be like, do we really need to spend that money? Mm-hmm. And then if one guy be like, yeah, I got it, then that's when you go. But like, yeah. I feel like as the relationship goes, you start thinking about like, because it really, it is a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to take out people out to eat. Especially like, me, because I love That's ridiculous. At first dates, first like first few times dating, like if I invite to go somewhere, I would pay. Like if I, I say, let's go get drinks, let's go get something to eat. I initiated that, like, I'm going to pay. Hmm. I remember once somebody gave me money. Sorry guys, somebody gave me money and didn't tell me what it was for. Just put it in my purse. Obviously that kind of sort of means like it's put it in your purse so it's kind of for you but I'm not that type of girl. I'm very sensitive when it comes to money. So I'm just in my head like alright there's money in my purse. like. I I need to be told things when it comes to money, cause money is a sensitive. You gotta person personally tell me like, oh, this is for you here, for me to use it. So I got the money in my purse, and we kept going out, whatever, whatever. Did not touch that money. And guess what happened with the money? I ended up sending it back, cause it wasn't. It was just never <laughs> once told to me. And then it's just like, if it was really for me, then why would you accept it back? You know what I'm saying? So I'm so happy I didn't use that money. Because mm-hmm. I'm just very sensitive when it comes to that. Like, you're not going to ever be out here saying you just handed me money and shit like that. Yep. Like, I just, I was never told, like, hey, now if, if it was a genuine thing, like, oh. Because I'm the type of person that I'd be putting on my car. Like, I don't be on that time where I'm just, there's, there'd really be some girls that be on some, if he don't pay for me, I'm never talking to him ever. Like, again. they just stand there, like, yeah, not like, caring about Some the people fact probably wouldn't even bring money. Like, initiating initiating food dates. Like, I got, I got nigga shit that I never would give myself. Like, brand shit. That I never got myself. That I can afford for myself. That I Almost I have a $700 been. gift. That I would never get a $700 gift for myself. But then it just, it's just mind baffling how people underestimate you. That's what gets me mad. That's how you test people. Because I, I am very, a very big tester. I love to test people. And, and I don't say nothing to the person. I just see how it is for myself. So, so I know how I'm going to move forward with you. You know what I'm saying? I know where we are. I love, love, love to test people. And I loved that when I did give that gift, the person didn't expect that from me. Yeah. And that was very offensive to me. Just because I don't have it, you think I can't get it? Like, I just have a different mind. I have a different way of thinking. Like, if I can't buy this designer purse a couple times, that's how I want to do it. I'm not saying that I'm never going to buy myself one, you know, now or whatever. But in the future, I'm going to feel so much better when I can just buy it and I'm, I'll, I'll be able to buy it three more times. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just buy, like, save, 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 save to buy this one purse and then be broke. No. Yeah, that's not it. That's or not just it. wear um. Let's say I buy a pair of red, red bottoms, which remember I was gonna do. Thank God I did it. I that's that's it. I I wear the same pair of red bottoms every single time. When I could have bought like fifty pairs of shoes with that shit with it's that true. money. Like, just because it has the red on the back. And they're not uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Exactly. Like, like that's really crazy. I low key arguments to get attention. To yeah. Get, to get to get like, cause I hate. When people just ignore and not say it. I'm the type of person is you'll just give it to me raw. Up. Give it to me raw. Exactly. I'd rather the truth than to, the Don't not be the leaving truth. me on don't be leaving me on scene. Don't be taking ten years to reply. Like just tell that me. energy right there is just it it shows a lot already. And us females we still we still like you and we still think and it's just like we're like, Okay, maybe we let's try it this mm-hmm. way. But if you say straight up like this is this, this this is how I'm feeling, this I can't right now. And the thing is that That's I feel it. like guys, they feel they feel bad to break your heart because you're a good person and they know that. So they don't want to keep it a stack. But I'm the type of person that you have to keep it a stack with. Mm-hmm. Yo, I will, I will go into tears and do whatever I got to do to yeah, myself. Keep it a stack. <laughs> to myself. I'm not going to sit there and do this whole show. This is what you want. At the end of the day, nobody's supposed to be with somebody that doesn't make them happy. So exactly. this is what you want, I bet. 
Yo, good luck to you. I'm never gonna, I'm not even gonna wish nobody bad. I'm never gonna leave shit in a bad note. I'm gonna just keep it pushing and deal with it by myself. But I cannot stand a person that I can't keep it a stack. Yep. Just tell me what it yeah. is. Tell me what it is and I will handle myself. Trust and believe. Don't feel bad for me. The fuck? I ain't no kid. Exactly. Yeah, it's like... Nah, because it's true. Like, a lot of people be playing games and not giving rain. Nah, that's why I'm, what happened with my second and little boyfriend. Girl, and girls be going crazy. That's why we be going crazy because some of you guys just don't know how to say things because you want to, like, keep that person around because you're scared of them thing. But you and then you're scared of them, uh, um, like, you're scared to let them go because you, a part of you wants them and then a part of you doesn't. You just want to live or do whatever the fuck you got to do. But, like, yo, just keep it a stack. But when that message is received, like, raw like that, that's when you're like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, but I'd rather, yo. I'm I'm sorry. Okay. I'd rather. Yo, I will die inside to myself, but I'm not about to sh do all this. I'll just be like, all right. Yep. Cool. I'll say what I got to say. Have a good life. Yep. I, instead of being with a person that's miserable to be with me. You know how, yo, girls really prefer that just so they can stay with the nigga. Like, no. I deserve the absolute best. Yeah, that's doing best. the most. That's exactly. something that's doing the most. Like, somebody that's Toxic. not giving you attention and you're still with them because you are in love with them. And you, you and don't you care how they feel. You know how they feel. They t they're treating you like shit. Yeah. They're ignoring you. They're not taking you on You're very dates. aware of how they're feeling and maybe they can't get it out. Mm hmm And just being with them. But yeah, guys, we went on and on and on. This was not supposed to be this long, but we got... We juicy. have to start this doing story like, times, yo. I know. This is a juicy topic. My thing. Yeah. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications on so you guys get notified for our next video. Yes, and if you guys want more story times, we got stories forever. Yeah, Just tell us what story. topic and we got you. We got so much stories. So you guys can get to know us more. I feel like mm -hmm. stories like that, you know, you get to know us and who we are. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys. Peace. Bye. Also, subscribe to our own channels. I haven't posted because I've been trying to negotiate with some people on playing instruments and people's just being shady. But don't worry though. It's coming. You don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to show this video one day. I'm going to put it on my Instagram. And I'm going to show all the people. So wait, let's get the date. It's on um, Wednesday, October 9th, and it's 10.45. Remember Watch. this day. We're going to be big. Watch. We're going to be big. I just...